Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Even before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their bombshell exit from royal life, the rumored plan was always to establish a home base in Los Angeles, so baby Archie could grow up understanding his American roots. Not so surprising then, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex headed straight to Meghan's hometown after a brief wintry stint in Canada and commenced house hunting. A little surprising that they wound up buying in Santa Barbara, about 100 miles away. And while their new home is indeed very fancy, it apparently wasn't the lure of an unfathomable 16 bathrooms that drove them up California's coast, but Harry's reported hatred of Los Angeles. Where the former royals ultimately landed was always an option. Apparently, Meghan visited as a teen and fell in love with the picturesque scenery and stunning architecture. A source explained, but to begin with, she and Harry wanted to give Los Angeles a shot. Unfortunately, Harry absolutely hated it. And what precisely did Harry hate so much about the city? Was it the traffic, the related sprawl, the smog? Did he miss seasons? We can only guess. The timing was so wrong amid the coronavirus pandemic, and they lacked privacy. The Sussex family's struggle with the tabloids has been ongoing, and appears to be one of the bigger reasons behind their departure from the UK. Los Angeles was no different. The couple dealt with severe invasions of privacy, including drones zooming repeatedly over their rental house in an attempt to photograph them playing with their son in the backyard. In July, they'd filed a lawsuit against the state of California over the allegedly extreme intrusion. So, from Harry's perspective, Montecito seemed like a solid compromise. Just over an hour's drive from Los Angeles, which is where a majority of their work is based, yet far enough away to escape the crowds, paparazzi, and tourism in Hollywood. In other news, who else was a girl or boy scout? Our own very Duchess was a Girl Scout. Let's take a closer look to see the official U.S. Girl Scout account, wishing the Duchess a happy birthday. You'll find that Megan has proudly spoken about. We love the Instagram post she made in 2013, captioning the photo as, Gotta support the Girl Scouts. My mother was my troop leader. Back in New Zealand, 2018, at an engagement with Harry. She revealed that she was a Girl Scout while growing up in her hometown of Los Angeles. According to a, to a royal reporter, Meghan said she had enjoyed earning all the badges to sew on her uniform, chronicled on her now defunct blog, the TIG, in a post entitled My Love Letter to All Things Kiwi. She revealed her Girl Scout background while also declaring her love for New Zealand in 2014. She hired a camper van on the advice of fellow Suits star Gabrielle Match and spent 10 days touring the South Island with a friend before renting a holiday home and relaxing for four days. Another analysis. Meghan Markle knows exactly what she's doing when she sends a message. Ever since entering into a relationship with Prince Harry, the tabloids have been picking apart just about everything that Duchess of Sussex says and does. Even after she and Prince Harry decided to step down from their royal duties, it seems that the former American actor is still constantly in the spotlight. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently living in Santa Barbara, California with their young son, Archie Harrison, and it seems that they are finally getting to do the things that they have wanted to do for so long. Meghan Markle has been making frequent virtual appearances, never hesitating to speak about what she believes in. There is no doubt that she feels a sense of freedom now, that she is no longer a senior working royal, considering as to how even before her royal days, she took her independence very seriously. It was pretty obvious that Meghan wasn't too happy living in the royal spotlight, and she appears to be much more relaxed now that those days are over. She is definitely making sure that her voice is heard, something that we have always admired her for. 
Let's talk about how Meghan Markle knows exactly what she's doing when she sends a message. Meghan's style during her time as a royal. After marrying Prince Harry, we all know that Meghan's style changed in order to adhere to royal rules. While working on the legal drama, suits, and living in Toronto, she was often seen in casual clothing, looking comfortable and effortlessly put together. According to Harper's Bazaar, she was known to wear dresses that hit above the knee and even the occasional belly, bearing outfit. We know that Queen Elizabeth has a strict dress code in place, especially for senior royals. So once she and Harry were officially husband and wife, Meghan was seen in much more conservative outfits. The Duchess would attend events and engagements in sophisticated suits and dresses, and her looks were usually complemented with lovely matching hats and fascinators. Hey, woman who knows what she is after. Meghan is, and always has been, one of the most ambitious and confident women around. For years, she has been an outspoken feminist, humanitarian, and animal rights activist, and she doesn't hesitate to stand for what she believes in. Meghan has done extensive charity work, and her main focus was on supporting women's rights. She has also done work with World Vision Canada and supports issues including gender equality, disaster relief, and poverty, among others. It is pretty safe to say that Meghan has specific goals in mind, and she is willing to do what it takes to make a difference for herself and others. Meghan Markle knows exactly what she is doing when she sends a message. Meghan definitely likes to make a statement. Ever since leaving the royals, she has been reported to have sent certain messages, and as it turns out, it is not a coincidence. In fact, Meghan knows exactly what she is doing when she sends a message. The fashion choices the Duchess made during her final weeks as a royal sent a clear message, which is exactly what she intended to do. The green outfit that she wore to Commonwealth Day let everyone know that she was ready for the next stage of her life, and after she and Harry relocated to Canada, Meghan was seen in leggings and boots that she often wore before her days as a royal. This conveys the message that she is being herself, happy to be out of the glaring spotlight of life as a working royal. Looks like Meghan knows exactly what she wants to say, and is constantly finding unique ways to do just that. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.